So the question that was asked was, what does enlightened awareness mean? What does enlightened awareness mean? This is going to be a difficult answer for most people to understand, but let's try. Everything that we experience in life, everything that we experience in life, is the contents of our awareness. So um, perception of anything is a content of our awareness. Thought of anything is a content of our awareness. Emotion is a content of our awareness. How do we know we exist? Because we are aware of the fact that we exist. How do we know other people exist? Because we are aware of the fact that they exist. How do we know that the world exists? Because we are aware of the fact that the world exists. So all these facts of existence are actually the contents of our awareness. And how do we experience the contents of our awareness? As either thoughts or sensations or feelings or moods or images in consciousness. We experience our own body as uh, sensations, images, feelings and thoughts in consciousness. We experience others as sensations, images, feelings, and thoughts and consciousness. We experience me as either a sensation, image, or feeling, or thought in consciousness. And we experience the world the same way. In other words, all that exists is awareness and the contents of awareness. And the contents of awareness arise in awareness, which is not our personal property. It's the ground of being, mine and yours, and everybody else's, in which these contents of awareness arise and subside, uh, in which these contents of awareness arise and subside. To know this and to feel this is to have always this grounding of being in that universal awareness in which all is happening. The subject and the object of experience are arising and subsiding, co-arising, co-subsiding, co-arising, co-subsiding. So let me ask you to do something right now. Imagine that you're looking at a mountain that is snow clad in the Himalayas. Imagine a rose, imagine a sunset. So you had an experience, and that experience was the content of your awareness. But you're not the content which arises and subsides. You're the awareness in which the content arises and subsides. Just knowing that and feeling that, you can be free of the contents of your awareness, recognizing that those are patterns of behavior of your consciousness or awareness, but you're not that. You're the ground of being in which all arises, all subsides, including your feelings, thoughts, images, sensations, which is all there is in the end. All the contents of our awareness are these forms of consciousness. They're thought forms. You, the other, and the whole universe are a qualia gestalt, or thought forms, that arise and subside in an eternal non-local awareness. And to be grounded in that at all times is to move in the direction of enlightened awareness because there is infinite freedom in that enlightened awareness. So um, there's a lot more to say about this in higher states of consciousness and I will in the future.